in high school, I started working at this studio called The Trap House. It actually got me out of Memphis, my being at the studio, because people were like, yo, who is this girl writing these hooks? I want to meet her. And it, it got me out of Memphis. So I really had really dope teachers around me. First one I got to say is Timbaland. I mean, um, if it wasn't for Wisdom, who was his protege at the time, he found out about me, flew me to Miami. I was supposed to stay a week, ended up staying five years. And I always got to give props to Missy Elliott, you know. Um, I saw her work ethic, you know, and she taught me how to work. Like, you can be rich, you can be worth all this money, and you need to work. You got to stay, stay hungry, so. I, I, I could say, like, my first project was when I worked with Monica. She had a project called Cold Red, and I damn near, like, ep the whole project. That was the moment when I realized, Jazzy, you've, you've, you've arrived into a into a world where you said you wanted to do R&B, you know, and, and like all of my biggest songs, like I feel like they've been a part of the of the R&B culture from Jacquees U to Usher P. Sign to Danny Lay, Lil Baby, like I didn't want to just have songs, I just wanted, I wanted to have like memories when you hear that song, this is so-and-so's best song, you know, so. This is the room where we did Old Town Road, so this this room is forever like, it, this room changed my changed my life. Billy Ray and me were right here. Billy Ray was over here in, with the guitar. The beat in the boot took two hours. It took me 15 minutes to write it, and it took Billy a little minute to get the vibe. But like, he got it though. Shout out to my boy Billy. I love you, dog. <laughs> I did not know that this song, and not only this song, it's a black dude from from the A that's 18 years old. That just was an icing on the cake. So when I got in. Um, they played the song and I was like, oh, this is big. If Old Town Road would've came out two years ago, I'm thinking it would've worked. It wouldn't work. You know, it was everything that was around it that made it a great record. I always preach consistency, cause like, kept working for nothing, for no money. I kept working just so you would know who I was. Uh, cause you, your name goes, goes far beyond where I can go. You know, it moves faster through word of mouth than me being here, so. Yeah, consistency and, and just don't be attached to your work. What's up, y'all? This is B.O.B. This is G-Eazy. I'm Mo. This is Julia Michaels. This is Logic. Make sure you subscribe to the Recording Academy channel. Flex.